Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday afternoon. I hope you tune in in about uh, five hours, four hours from now for our live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern where we'll be talking about the Dallas Cowboys, of course, and what they've done thus far with us leading up to rookie minicamp come Friday and Saturday. Um, a lot of stuff's been said about my quarterback, Dak Prescott. Um, we had... Uh, Mike Fisher this morning talking about the possibility of him being traded to the Giants. Uh, we've heard, of course, that it is ready to be Trey Lance's time. Uh, we've heard, of course, that there's no contract talks or movement whatsoever. And now we've got Stephen Jones commenting on Mad Dog Radio. Mad? Do Why are you going on Mad Dog? Anyway. Be that as it may, I thought he would have been going on to Jacob Sports with Dan Salio because, you know, he's been on there four times. Yeah, four times. So this is what Stephen Jones on Dak Prescott and believing whether or not he can win the Super Bowl. Insert joke here right now. Absolutely, I mean, I think Dak Prescott can lead us to a championship. He does everything the right way. He's certainly the leader of the football team. He keeps everybody motivated in the offseason. He's got everybody working out and doing all the things it takes to put in the work to give yourself the opportunity to win championships. Um, it just so happens that sometimes the old oblong football doesn't bounce your way. And we've had some tough breaks and tough games there in the postseason. We've won 12 games three years in a row. I think that's right at the top in terms of what teams have done over the three-year period. Um, and we're hanging around the rim. We just got to go there and grab it to use in basketball terms to dunk it. We're hanging around the rim. We just have to get it done. And I will add to that. Oh, that's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah, that's the whole part on there. So he believes that he is a franchise quarterback. And he says the priority is to get the contract done with Dak Prescott. Um, they just take time. And he believes he can win a Super Bowl. So you're not hearing. I mean, we've had some quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson for two years. That situation got to be ugly. Um, you've got Dak Prescott, who, of course, is doing everything he can to be the best player that he can be. He's out there working with the guys and getting things together. And now it's just a matter of them working out a contract. You know, I'm going to sound crazy, you know, and people always say I'm crazy. And, you know, uh, <laughs> I got to be honest with you. It's kind of funny. And I'm, I'm kind of inserting this in here right now. But it's kind of funny some of the things that you get from people that are really scared little bitches. And that's what I'm going to call you. Little scared little bitches that can hide behind a keyboard anonymously and sit there and say things about you. You know, I'm right here. You all know who I am. I have a face. Uh, you understand that I am a man and I am a grown ass man and I take a lot of shit but those out there who are behind the camera those who aren't even af are afraid to even put their name to an email or a text message or any of the above are scared little bitches and um, it's easy for those people to go ahead and say that guy's trash and all that or that you are blank to blank because you don't have to worry about getting punched in the face. But it's, it's all good. But I'm going to say um, what I see right now, don't be surprised when Brandon Cooks has an outstanding season this year with Dak Prescott. The extra time of working without CeeDee Lamb around him, you're beginning to see Dak Prescott 
and um, Brandon Cooks seem to be like best buddies and working together a lot more. And with this offense, you know, the Texas Coast offense, we called it Texas Toast early on the season because it seemed like it was just ass-ass. But I'm thinking that they're building a repertoire that is going to be really, really big for the Cowboys and for the two of them. And when I look at the numbers with Brandon Cooks, you know, here's a crazy one for you guys. Remember how everybody was saying that, oh, everywhere Brandon Cooks is gone, he's gotten a thousand yards. Not every year of those. Some of the years he was in, you know, a team with three years, maybe two years of it, he had a thousand yards or one year of it. The crazy thing is, and nobody tells you this, that his best season touchdown catch wise has been nine. He had eight last year with the Cowboys. So look for Brandon Cooks and Dak Prescott, that dynamic, to be a record setter for him. Just saying. You don't want to give Dak Prescott any credit. That's fine. But you got to look at the people, the receivers, that have been there with Dak, that once they leave, they're never really heard from again. You think about Terrence Williams or... Alan Hearns or uh, Cedric Wilson, you know, Randall Cobb literally went off a cliff and was left on the side of the road by the Green Bay Packers because he was having about 400 and some yards uh, a season. He comes to the Cowboys, has almost 900 and gets a big, fat, juicy contract from the Texans and immediately with Deshaun Watson goes right back where he was in the 400 range goes back to Aaron frickin' Rodgers in Green Bay and still in the 400-yard range. You're going to see a major season out of Brandon Cooks. And um, don't be surprised with Jalen Tolbert as well. Because Dak, regardless of if he gets that contract or not, him being another year removed from the ankle and the thumb injury, him getting some beast on the offensive line, I expect to see a great season out of Dak Prescott. And if I don't, well, I'll be the first one to say I was wrong. And being a grown-ass man who is okay with putting my name in front of the things I say, I'll stand up to what I say. As always, I appreciate you guys, and um, we'll be talking to you real soon. I'm going to get my ass out of here and go get some more work done. As always, I appreciate you guys. Peace. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory. And the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Lincoln Mercury. Nobody has more kinds of cars or more kinds of people. See them at the sign of the cat. By Goodyear, makers of the custom steel guard radial tire. And by State Farm Mutual. Almost anywhere you live, there's a State Farm agent nearby. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.